Hey guys, welcome back. PG Mindington here, and as you can see, we are back with the Bioshock Road to Infinity, and this is episode 6, and thank goodness I am finally back. I know I did take a little bit of a break earlier, but once again, I had to take a forced break pretty much because my entire hard drive got wiped, and I had to play back up to the point where I am currently. So as you see, I did actually just kill our third Big Daddy, and we now have like $270 almost, which is sweet because I didn't spend my money all that well the first time I played through the game, but I did learn as we went, and we are now back up to the point where we were, and I just killed the third big daddy, and we are now saving the little girl, which is sweet, and there's only actually one more left on this level, and we now actually have 320 Adam. Now, if you guys do remember, we actually do have that gift from the little sister's mother or whatever. I don't really think she has a mother. I don't know what she is to them, but it's something of a motherly figure type thing that has left something for us. Whatever that woman was, she said that she would give us something if we helped her, and we have been helping her, so I am assuming it's going to be something rather nice that we're going to be getting. And, oh, actually, it's right there. So there's a little girl, and she just left our little treat inside of the teddy bear. Now, the one problem that I do see occurring is that turret sitting right there, but no big deal as long as we are able to hide from it. But let's see what we can do here. I want to do something possibly funny i don't know oh god holy crap okay that was a little bit uncalled for um i don't know if that's shooting at us or what it is shooting at let's see let's go ahead and knock it out and let's run over to here let's get that guy and as you can probably see my aim has gotten a little bit better not all that much better oh jesus but um yeah since i have played the game through twice up to this point anyway it it's gotten a lot better hopefully Hopefully you guys can tell that, and I'm not just like, Bleh, all over the place, because that was not good the first playthrough. Oh god, oh god, alright, so let's grab the gift, 200 Adam, holy crap, and hypnotize Big Daddy, 12 armor piercing, 200 Adam, that's like, how many do we, I don't even know, but that's like a ton, alright, congratulations, you have found your first reward from Tenenbaum, so Tenenbaum is that woman's name, we will be referring to her as that from now on, and we have saved the little sisters, and that's why we got that, which is sweet, so we got a new plasmid, and it is hypnotized Big Daddy, need a bodyguard in a pinch, our new hypnotized plasmid will fool a Big Daddy into protecting you, as if you were its own little sister, that is sweet, but I don't really know if we need it because it causes a big daddy to protect you for a brief time. I'm thinking we m might just store this in a gene bank, which is just fine. And let's see what we can buy in the gatherer's garden, actually. Holy crap, there's a bunch of stuff. So we have a another plasmid slot that we can actually purchase, which I might actually do. That sounds uh, it sounds pretty good, to be honest with you guys. So I'll think about that. Um, we do have the health upgrade, obviously. The Eve upgrade, Enrage, Target Dummy. Creates a decoy that allows... Um, that draws attacks away from you. That's pretty cool. But we also have Winter Blast, which sounds pretty cool. Freeze your foes and place, shatter them into a thousand pieces. What's not to like? So we also have Armored Shell, Eve Link, Extra Nutrition, which we have not seen before. So let's read up on it. You can gain a little extra health from snacks and bandages. We don't really pick up those quite so often, so I'm assuming we don't really want that one. But there is Hacker's Delight. Every time you hack something, you gain a little bit of health. Eh, we don't want that one. So Security Expert, let's see, reduces difficulty when hacking turn spots and cameras. Now, eventually we might do that. I don't know. Um, but first of all, I would really like to grab this extra plasmid slot because we're definitely going to end up needing that. And we just really don't want to waste our plasmids throughout the game. Um, we really don't need to see that because I don't know what the heck the point of that was, but I believe there is a gene bank over, yeah, right here actually, so that's nice if we can dodge some missiles first, but as you see here, we actually have another plasmid slot, and that plasmid slot has been filled by incinerate, I guess that's just the one that was in the way, and it's the one that came into play, which rhymes, but I don't know, that was coincidental. Alright, so we do have... Um, the Hypnotized Big Daddy, which I think we're just going to keep our Incinerate, because I do kind of like that Plasmid a lot, and it's pretty dang sweet, because I did actually, when I was playing through, I started using it a little bit more than I had the first time, and I found it a little bit more useful, so hopefully once we get all the Plasmids, it will begin to take a larger role in the game, but let's start dodging some missiles, and what the heck, we were having a bit of a bug right there, I don't know what the heck's going on with that machine, but let's go ahead and launch that over to there, what the heck, 
All right, so apparently we got blown up by shrapnel. I have no idea what the heck just blew us up. But hopefully we can buy some health packs. Let's see. I did actually hack this one this time. I don't know if I did that the first time, but let's buy some health packs and stuff. So we have three health packs and four Eve, which is sweet. So let's continue on. And I really would like to get this game done by, what is it, Tuesday? Let me check my calendar. Um, Today is the 22nd, and it's Friday, so Saturday 23rd, Sunday 24th. 4th and Monday is the 25th and then Tuesday is going to be the 26th now there's a possibility that I miscounted and I wouldn't doubt it if I did but I'm pretty sure the 26th is Tuesday and that Tuesday is going to be does he have a little girl all right you know what we might go ahead and grab the big daddy um thingy I don't know what the heck it's called hypnotize big daddy and what we might do is just grab it from right here and then we might just try it out because I mean he's right there why not just try it out because there is a rocket launcher right there what the heck is this is this like a heart why don't you have an empty slot that you could put a plasmid or gene tonic into let's go ahead and grab holy Jesus he got angry um come down here yeah be a friendly be a friendly come here down here go ahead and blow that thing up if you'd like um, that would be much- holy crap! Okay, I like this plasmid. I like this plasmid. Okay, this plasmid is amazing. Um, let's see what is in here. Some electric buck. I actually like electric buck, to be honest with you guys. But we don't really need all that much, so... Oh, we can't even buy it from here. I was gonna say we're not gonna buy any more, but... We don't even have the opportunity to do that. Now, I do like being followed by this Big Daddy. It actually feels rather safe and satisfying to have the Big Daddy following us and knowing that we're not going to get our butts kicked. But I'm assuming that that guy will wear off rather quickly, which is kind of sad. I do wish it lasted longer than it most likely will, but that's no big deal. We'll probably figure it out later. And there seems to be a code that is going to be necessary for us to get into here, but actually... I love this game so much that it allows you to actually hack this code instead of just have to go find the code, which is actually pretty dang sweet. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here and hope that I'm good enough to get this. Let's see. It's not moving all that fast, but I'm not finding the pieces that we need. So this might be bad. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think we're just fine here. All we need is one more of these and boom. So increase the flow speed and successfully or successfully hacking. Um, and we have now done it. So let's see. Timmy H interrogation. And there's a cross smugglers crate and some machine gun rounds with a first aid kit, which we definitely would like. And corpse. Oh, exploding buck. Sweet. I knew that's what those shots were for. For they are exploding bucks. And we got three armor piercing rounds and some first aid kits, which is sweet. Let's make sure we grabbed everything. Because it doesn't seem like or seem like we did for some reason. Let's see. Um We might only be able to carry so many of these. I honestly don't know. I think that's what it is. Oh well, that's just fine. Let's see what else is past this guy right here. Hopefully it's not too much, and hopefully we do not get destroyed in the face. And there's actually stuff back in here, but we should be able to grab it with telekinesis. No big deal on that. I did learn that ability, or I learned that I was able to do that when I did the replay through the game. And yeah, when I say I had to re- holy Jesus... When I say I had to replay the game, now we can go grab those extra shots. But when I said I had to replay the game, I had to replay everything up until this point. So it did take me a while, and that's why I didn't upload. So if that makes sense, I hope it does. So I've actually killed, what, six Big Daddies so far? So I should be an experienced Big Daddy killer. And now we don't really need a hint because, I don't know, we just don't. Let's go ahead and grab that, which is sweet. We got five buck. And sorry if I'm commentating a little bit late. It's not that I'm recording it afterwards. It's just that I am a little bit slow today for some reason. Which hopefully is no big deal. Let's go ahead and search our RPG turret. I was hoping I'd never have to see turret and RPG in the same sentence. But it turns out we do. So we'll be able to get the last little girl later if we have to. We can come back, I will assume. Um, let's see. Is there a way? Yeah, we can come back across this plank. And I'll assume we'll have to come back here later for something. And the holy crap. Okay. This this is a little bit creepy. Oh, well. We got this. Let's see. She has nothing on her or he or it or I'm not sure. All right. So Fontaine Fisheries. Let's go ahead and pick up. Every oh, God. This is never good when they put a bunch of stuff on a table, whether it's good or not. 
It, you just have a bad feeling about this. Let's see, Fontaine Fisheries Entrance. I have a feeling we're about to meet our friend, and I have a feeling we're going to be able to spawn at this Vita Chamber, even though there's going to be a boss. So what I'm going to want to do is make sure that this little girl is... Let's see if he has gotten her out yet, because if he has, we're actually going to take on another Big Daddy. But if he has not gotten her out yet, then we are just going to continue on with the game, which will probably be cool. I'm hoping something cool is going to happen, like a big boss fight or something of the matter such as that. And sweet, he just got out the little girl, and we have a ton of armor-piercing pistol rounds, and he's actually a little bit damaged already. So um, let's go ahead and angrify him, if that's even a word. And oh god, we don't have enough, or actually there's nothing to use. But let's see what we can do here. Let's switch our ammo and just hope for him to throw a grenade at us, to be honest with you guys. Let's see. All you have to do really is dodge these bullets, grab some of his grenades, and throw them at him. And he basically vulnerifies himself, if you know what I mean by that. That made no sense. But he makes himself vulnerable by throwing those grenades at us because they do pack quite a punch. And I do like the fact that we are able to use them against him. And yeah, I just really like the fact that we're able to do that because we just hit him with two right there. So... This is going to be the third one, if he backs into that one, that is. I hope he backs into that one, because that would be very useful. And boom, there is the third one, or possibly the fourth one, depending on if he backs into that other one. So let's go ahead and wait for one more, and this one should be almost the last one. He might throw one more, and we should be able to get him on that one. If he does not murder us first, let's go ahead and grab this. And hopefully these boss fights are fun for you guys. I don't know if you guys... Holy crap, how did I just die? I hope these boss fights are fun for you guys. I don't know, they're rather, I don't know, persistent. They do occur a lot, but they are kind of fun, and I just like the fact that there are harder things in this game than there are in most games. I mean, most games are just like, okay, um, wander around and do this. I don't care. You have one boss towards the end of the game, and that's about it. No, I, I don't want that, to be honest. Oh, God. Oh, God. Refresh. Refresh or heal or whatever. All right. So there is our third rivet gun drop, which means we have killed three Rosies or four Rosies. I don't know what we've... No, it's fourth Rosie. And this is our fourth little girl that we get to rescue, I believe. So we've now killed one Big Daddy or one Bouncer, I think, and three Rosies, which are those with the rivet gun, and now we have harvested three out of three little girls, and or not harvested, definitely not harvested, but we have saved them, which is sweet, because we don't want to be mean to the little girls, of course, otherwise I would feel rather bad, I don't want to do that, but now we can go ahead and continue on and go through this glorious golden door, which I'm hoping is glorious and hopefully contains something that's most likely going to murder us, but probably it's just going to be our friend. All right, so he has a welder's mask on, but let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say. All right, so there seems to be a plasmid over there that I do see. Whoa there, I don't like your language, sir, but I do have a feeling that he has deployed a very angry amount of people upon us, and that um, he just got electrocuted like a loser, and you just got nailed in the face. Oh my god, this is a very, very angry soul, and we are most likely going to own him in the face. I don't care how good he is. Bring it on. I dare you. This person's actually... I think this is the one we saw in the very beginning of the game, to be honest with you. So, oh god, that was... What the heck happened here? This thing moved... I don't know, this thing is super fast, holy crap. Alright, so he got a hit on us, obviously, and he is throwing hooks. Alright, I was hoping he was going to give us some advice, but apparently he didn't want to give us any... Oh god, I just killed that thing. I The machine you just damaged is hacked and friendly to you. Well, where did that come from? I don't know what he's saying, but I don't even want to hear it because he knew that thing was coming, and holy crap, okay, did he just give us a grenade launcher? If he just gave us a grenade launcher, then I am super happy. I was about to say he was a bad person, but apparently he's not because he just gave us a grenade launcher, and he is now amazing, and I, I just don't know what to say. I mean, a grenade launcher. Um, I'm tempted. Let's do it. Oh, God, that was a bad shot, wasn't it? You know what? You know what? How do you like that? 
How do you like me now? Alright, then what the heck was that angry thingy that tried to kill me? I need to turn up my volume. Alright, now I can hear what's going on, but let's go ahead and continue on, and I kind of want to see what was up with this guy over here. Is he gone, or what? Because he did give us a grenade launcher, but I don't know exactly what's going on. If he can pass as a grenade launcher, then why can't he himself just, like, pass himself through there? That would make a lot more sense, but I have no idea. So let's see. Let's go ahead and maybe grab that person's grenade, because I definitely... Don't want to waste any grenade launcher ammo because I already wasted one, and I feel like a complete idiot for that. And let's see, my aim has gotten so much better, I'm hoping. Let's see. Holy crap, that guy was a little bit more tough to kill than I expected, but, um, alright, let's go ahead and continue on. I believe this door was not actually, um, open before, but now it is, which is sweet, and we are getting murdered, which is not very friendly of that woman, or whatever. Holy Jesus, bad. Bad, not good. This is bad. Alright, so I'm assuming shotgun's gonna be the way to go right here. Alright, so one shot on you, and boom, you should be dead. Let's go ahead and grab some Eve, as well as some first aid kits, and I think that was only one, actually, so A first aid. Holy Jesus, we just got blown up. Alrighty then, it's gonna be a long episode. What do we have? Nine minutes to get blown up some more? Alrighty then, so we've been murdered once, and blown up twice, and I think twice maybe three times i don't know but we did get some explosive bucks which is awesome i don't quite want to use them yet because we do have normal ammo still but maybe when we're getting our butts kicked and feeling low we'll be able to use them and i'm sorry but your grenades are not going to kill me anytime soon or anymore because i am fed up with them and i'm just not going to let you do it so yeah that's what's going to happen but we're actually going to grab our let's say a huh? Let's grab that, or throw it, whichever we feel like doing, apparently. And then that, and I think that's all that we need to grab. So now we can continue on, which is great. And we just got $2, so well, that was worth my time. Alright, so let's say here. We can heal for 16 bucks. Ah, I don't know, I kind of want to conserve all of the money that we can. And hopefully we will be able to grab something that's going to be pretty dang sweet later, if there's plasmid for Adam, I don't know, somehow there's going to be a way that we're going to get to use this money, let's make sure we got all the little sisters, which we did, which is sweet, alright, so here are proximity mines, which I believe might go inside of this, yeah, so there's a proximity mine, and then there's like an RPG type thing apparently, which I'm assuming it's an RPG because of that one thing that was shooting at us, the RPG turret, it kind of looks like that, so I have no idea, but I'm hoping that we're going to have RPGs that we're going to be shooting out of this thing sometime soon, which would be sweet, and I have the most ingenious idea ever. Hey, big boy. Hello. All right, get angry and kill everyone for me, please. That would be nice. All right, thank you. Love you. All right, kill him. I love this plasmid already. Holy crap, he killed... Did he really just kill all them in, like, two seconds? I think he was already a little bit angry at them, but I just, like, set him off on him, which is hilarious. And there's, like, fish guts and people I don't even want to know. Let's go ahead and continue. And we picked up a diary and an Eve, which is sweet. Hopefully you can blow up that mine. Holy Jesus. Bad. Go. Go blow that up, please. Go kill that thing. Murder it. Why is there a big daddy if there are no little sisters left in this level? I don't quite understand that. But I'm not complaining because, holy crap, there's another big daddy. What the heck is this? Um, did you murder this turret all right so he did kill that turret i love this plasmid this plasmid is amazing and i plan on using it a lot because i have no idea why i wouldn't but let's see rpg turret doesn't seem to have any rpgs but that is just fine we can break this lock i believe yep and there is a bot shutdown which is what is this let's see what is this plasmids um bot shutdown should be somewhere within here I don't see it, so we're not going to do that, and I think he just hit me in the face on accident. It's alright, he's my friend, I don't care. Let's go ahead and grab this ammo, and yeah, I think we're good. Let's check and see if we can get anything from there, which we can't, and our big daddy happens to be in our way. Why are you in our way? I'm going to just shove through here. And pistol rounds, crate, let's see, crate, and then we can... 
go into the vending machine, and frag grenades are actually pretty dang cheap considering that electric buck is actually pretty expensive. So I do like the fact that that is good. So let's grab those while we can, to be honest with you guys, because I don't know when we aren't going to be able to get them or are going to be able to get them anytime soon. Let's go ahead and buy some of those as well and see what else is down here for us to have. So I'm assuming, let's see, let's go back to where we can see down there. I am assuming that down here is where we started at. Let's see. So yeah, there's actually an Eve right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. It's good thing that we have telekinesis or I would have been wasting things left and right this episode, but no big deal. And that Big Daddy is our friend, or no longer our friend, actually. He's not our friend anymore. That's no big deal, unless we need to come back and get him sometime soon, which might be now, because we are under alert now. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to go grab the Big Daddy just to take out those things, because I don't think it's all that expensive. Oh, yeah, it is expensive. Never mind. I take that bad. It's expensive to harvest or harness the Big Daddy, but no big deal. It was just one entire Eve. Holy crap, that's expensive. But, um, he should be able to kill that thing with no problem. Let's see if he can hit it. I have no idea if he's going to be able to hit it. Let's see. Let's heal and hope that he can hit it. Um, holy crap. He just, like, ninja chopped it. Ninja chopping Big Daddy Rosie. Ninja chopping Rosie. Oh, my gosh. All right. That was a little bit crazy. But now we should be able to continue on and have him run after us like a boss which is sweet, and that thing should go away pretty dang soon, otherwise I'm going to be a little bit angry. Let's see, it's just following us all the way up there, in there, or isn't it? So let's see, there is a bot shut off, and there's also a safe right there with some grenade launcher stuff, and you have to go away now, I'm sorry. All right, so hold H to get hints if you need help. Let's see, so that is our goal right there, which is great, I'm assuming. Let's see, so now we are being shot at again, as usual. Can we ever get a break? I don't think so. Deactivate alarm, I don't even care anymore. Let's just go ahead and break out of that, and we have more crap shooting after us. Let's go ahead and grab everything that we can, and just hope... Oh, holy Jesus, there's a rocket launcher. Alright, that's bad. Oh my god, there's like bad things all over the place trying to murder us. I have no idea what to do. Let's see, let's grab out our shock plasmid, and attempt to nail that thing. All right, so he's just kicking butt. I don't even know what the heck he thinks he's doing. He's just murdering everything in sight. And if he runs out, which he did, we're just going to harvest him or harness him again, which I don't think we did. Did I just waste an entire Eve on that guy again, even though I missed? Holy crap. All right, so there appears to be another Big Daddy just sitting right there. I'm hoping we can run across and just grab that real quick. So we got the crap out of that one. And adios, so now you can no longer shoot me. Now go away. I don't know who you are. And oh god, oh god, this is bad. Alright, so I have like absolutely no health whatsoever. And I'm assuming that we are about to die. But guess what? To the rescue, three first aid kits just sitting in the corner. Holy crap. I am as lucky as it gets when it comes to that. That's sweet. Let's go ahead and zap you and you. And let's go ahead and hack this one. And you know what? Let's not hack it. Let's just go ahead and crawl underneath here and see what we can find. Let's see. Let's wait on that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. So we died again. Dang it. Where's that going to respawn us? I have no idea where that's going to respawn us. All right. Let's see. Where can we go from here? We did spawn rather close, I do believe, because there's, like, security all over the place. And we should have no big deal sneaking past all of these alarms now that we know where most of them are. Oh, God. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. All right, so now... Oh, sweet. I did actually get that one before it did set off the alarm, which is sweet. So now all I have to do is... I have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. So if you guys enjoy this series, please do go ahead and let me know in the comments down below or do leave a like or go ahead and press the like button. It means a lot to me, and I have just hit like 300 subscribers, which is amazing, and I would really like to start posting a ton of videos as I get Bioshock Infinite Tuesday, which is going to be sweet. I plan on releasing like five Bioshock videos tonight, which is going to be sweet as well. And they're just going to be back to back because I'm just going to record a ton tonight and hope that I can get a crap ton of things done. So thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Mining 10, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.